Hello, this is Jonathan with Simple Life Habits, and for the past week, I've been using a new task management system called the Final Version by Mark Forster, and I have found it to be incredibly helpful in getting me to be more productive. And this is coming from somebody who's used getting things done. I've used different versions of some of the task management systems that Mark has put together. And uh, I've been using it primarily the past week on a notepad. And it's worked out really well. I do enjoy the notepad. Uh, at the same time, I know there's many people out there who want an electronic version. So I just wanted to quickly show you how to use this using Workflowy. If you haven't yet started using Workflowy, it's a great, awesome tool. It's free, costs nothing, and for me it keeps lots and lots, lots of lists. I've got all kinds of lists, ideas, templates. Uh, I can get to it real quickly with the search feature, and I use this um, in conjunction with Evernote. Evernote holds more of my reference files, and Workflowy just is constantly holding uh, any brainstorming that I have, um, any templates that I use, email templates, just whatever I'm working with, uh, it works great for that. So here's how you can work this. You know, Workflow is a real simple tool. You can just create a header and then you can easily create bullet points along the way. Now you can choose to indent them if you want, but you do not have to. Um, so it really just depends on on you and your preference but um, essentially what um, I like to do is just create a simple to-do list like Mark recommends and then you want to have um, your first task to kind of be the anchor to everything else and so what I do is I actually just use a feature a hashtag feature that's already built in and I just use the one called next and so as I'm looking down through my list, I'm just scanning it and I'm asking the, the question that Mark recommends that you ask, what do I want to do before I do X? So what do I want to do before I send out this email that I need to send out? So I look through here and say, you know what, I really want to write some blog posts. So I'm going to tag that as next. And you know, before I do that, I really need to call Ben back. So I'm going to tag that as next. And so now that I've got that list of things that I want to do before uh, I do the one above, then what I do next is I simply just click on this and it filters out everything else. So now, as Mark suggests, I can start by calling Ben back. When I get that done, I can simply complete it. I can choose, it's just out of the view, but I can choose whether to show my completed or not. So I'm going to choose to have it showed. Then I can write my blog post, focus my energy and effort there, and I can complete that one. And then let's say, okay, I then I finally get around to sending out that email and things are completed. So what do I do now? Well, what's really cool is you can just simply click on the X on the search box and it'll go right back to your list. So then you start the process over again. Here's my first one. Okay, check my email. So what, I want, what do I want to do before I check my email? Uh, I want to record this video. And so now I'm going to, again, do the same thing. I'm going to click on Next, and it's going to show me what I need to do next. Now I can simply click a button and hide my completed, and I can always toggle back and forth, which is a really cool feature. And I can just focus on recording the video. That's actually what I'm doing right now. So once I get that done, again, I can complete that. And now I'm just focused on my last task of checking my email. And then I can click the X and go back. I can choose to see what's already been done. And so it's a real simple, easy way for you to be able to... to um, use the final version system to get stuff done. It's also compatible on the iPad and the iPhone um, and it works really great so give it a try.